In this lesson, we are going to work with the Reddit JSON in order to obtain all the data that we need to display in our application. So, first, I'm going to start creating a new package called model. And this model is going to contain the model of our data. So we are going to create a class here that is going to be called post. And this class post will reflect, will contain all the information that we want from a post. So this is a class post that will contain the link, the URL, everything that we want to see from the post, the thumbnail image. So if we take a look at the URL that we are downloading for on Reddit, remember that the final the final objective is get a list of posts from Reddit. So if we take a look at the URL, we can see the JSON here. This is very difficult to understand like this. But if we find a JSON online viewer, like for example this one, I can load the URL here. And this has a proper structure. If we take a look quickly here, we can see like this one is one item. Okay, so the item has one field which is called thumbnail, which is obviously the image. It has a permalink, which is the link to the post. And we are going to be interested on this one first. So, if we do Reddit, and now we paste the permalink, we have like the link to Reddit of this post. Okay, so this is the permalink. Now, the thumbnail will be the thumbnail of the image. So, I think that with these two things and the title, if we have a title, yeah. So with the title, the thumbnail and the link, we are ready to create a list of posts. Of post. So come back to Android Studio and create the same fields in here. Spell link. Thumbnail and title. Okay. Now we have an object with these three fields. How can we convert from this JSON to an object? Google JSON. JSON is a library from Google to work with JSON. So to make the difference, this is a JSON, and now we are going to see how to use JSON. So Imagine that I want to create a post from a JSON. So I instantiate my object post and I use it like this. New JSON from JSON. So this is creating a JSON from a JSON. In this case, the JSON is the response, and the second parameter is the type, the class of the object that we want to convert. So, in this way, we are converting a JSON to an object of this class. So now, how JSON is going to know which field from the JSON is each field from the object? That's why we need to use here the annotation serialize 9. With this serialize 9, we are telling that the field of the object is the same field called permalink in the JSON. So if we want to add a thumbnail, for example, we just copy exactly the name here, and this is going to be the serialize name here. So that is the example.
So the object JSON is going to go over through all the properties and for every name that matches with the serialized name is going to create a variable. This can be can be called differently. That doesn't matter. The important thing is that this word is the same as the one in the JSON. Okay. If you don't have JSON in your project, just go to the Maven dependencies and look for JSON. So it could be something like that. Library dependency, you look for JSON and you click on it, so it's added to your project. Okay. Now you click on uh, gradle.build and it will generate the JSON import. So you should be able to have this import with this realized name working like this. Okay. If we had a JSON just with, it, with this element, something like this, something like this, we could we could use this code. But the problem in this case is that Reddit is giving us the object post inside of some structure that we have to replicate in order to JSON to understand the structure of the JSON. So we have an object post which is inside an object which is inside an array of object children which is inside an object called listing. So I'm going to replicate this structure on my application that way then I can convert this list to object. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to create to create a class listing. I'm going to create create a class children array. And I'm going to create a class children. So I'm going to replicate this part. So first we have a class called listing and in the property data we have an array of object children. Okay, so first I have a class listing which in the property data it has an array of children. Okay, that's fine. Now every object children has another field called data which has the post inside. So now every object children has another field Okay, every object children has a, has a field data that has a post inside. Okay, and now every children array has in the property children an array of different children. So every object children array has a property children which has an array of children. It can be a list or it can be an array. Okay. So this is the same structure that we have. Normally when you're doing your own application you don't make this, this complex. But I want you to see how to finish this example. 
So if we go to main activity, now what, what I need to do is create a this thing here. Okay, so I'm going to add a debug point here and I'm going to check that everything is okay. So if I debug the application, okay, I have an object listing, that's fine. It has an object children array inside it, that is fine. It has a children list inside it, that is fine. And every child, every child in the property data has a post which has the three fields that we want. So, repeat, this is, this example is a bit complex, but this is like the basics of how to JSON convert to an object. So now, what we have here is a list of our post ready to use. To finish, what I really want is a list of posts. I don't want this complex structure. So for that, what I'm going to do to the listing is a method called getPostList, which is going to return a list of posts. Okay, so first I'm going to create a list here okay and secondly well I'm going to return that, that list and what I'm going to do is get the children array I'm going to have to create a method here called Get children list. So what I'm going to do is uh, convert this complex structure to a simple list. Okay, and here I need a method get post, which return the post. Okay, so I'm going to ask for the children array. So I'm going to do the following for every children. On the list, children array. Get children list. For every children inside children list I'm going to get the post. To the post list I'm going to add the children get post. Okay. So now if I go to main activity, what I'm going to show in this toast at the moment is going to be the size of the list. So get pull list and I'm going to see this, the size. And to check that everything works, I'm going to put a debug point here so I can check that the list is working fine. Okay. So we have come to this debug point. If I click on next debug point, okay, we are here and we have a post list with five posts, which is exactly what we want. Now, in the next lesson, what we have to do is just paint this list on the view.